Welcome to the Life Outdoors Podcast. Our mission is to educate, entertain, and motivate. We speak life into and through the outdoors. Now join your hosts, Nate Bailey and Gage Bailey, as we navigate through the mountains of this life. Welcome to the first edition of the Life Outdoors with your host, Nate Bailey, and your co-host, Gage Bailey, and we'll have some other co-hosts like Chase Bailey, or Misty Bailey, or Aaron Bailey, Aaron Adams Bailey. So, uh, Gage, dude, I'm really hitting that top end. Anyhow, um, Gage, why don't you, we're going to open up with telling everybody what the Life Outdoors is, and I thought today would be a good day to kind of just sit down, talk a little bit about the Life Outdoors, and why in the world we started this. First and foremost, our uh, motto is bringing life in and through the outdoors. In and through. So, in means that we are speaking some spiritual life into the outdoor community. And then, uh, through means that we could show other people what the outdoor community is speaking into the rest of the world. So, um through our outdoor experiences over the years, we have found that there is tons of life that we could speak about. And that's exactly what we're after is trying to help this world that is so full of death. As I look out today, it's pretty smoky out there and uh, smoke is just one of those signs of death. And I think also when we look at things throughout uh, the, the stuff that goes on in this world, if we turn on the news and we look, there's so much of that stuff going around and that's not true stuff. What we experience in the outdoors is true, and that's what we're bringing in through the outdoors. But at the same time, we're going to speak into the outdoor community and kind of remind them of some things that they probably know know about um, when they're up in the outdoors. So that's basically it. Now, how do we do this? Well, let's let's do something real quick first. Um, We were the Southern Oregon Outdoors, and everyone asked us why we changed our name. Well, our motto was was that so it was like well why don't we just change it to the life outdoors then right yeah. right i mean we were already doing yeah it we were already Southern doing Oregon it. outdoors yeah. and so why don't we uh change it to bringing life right yeah so that's that's what we're doing here um now there, there's a couple of different things that i was going to talk about bringing life into the outdoors um you know <sighs> I don't want to get too spacey here because we're a bunch of hunters and a bunch (laughs) of fishermen, but we all um, grow teary eyed when we see, you know, one of these guys on, on YouTube get an elk and everybody's around them and all the, all the guys are um, ecstatic over it and they just work with each other. And, and then we lose sight that it's actually an elk. We actually Mm -hmm. start thinking, you know, that's brothers. Those, there's something greater going on here. There's something bigger. And, uh, so that's what we want to bring into it is to help people realize that that is something bigger. That That's why we elk hunt. That's why we fly fish. That's why we duck hunt or because there's something grander about the outdoors. And so we want to be able to point that out in people's lives that uh, that uh, go out there and do this stuff. They do it for those reasons. And, and a lot of times I, I wonder if they really think about it, what they're really doing. The second thing, so that's that's the end part. Um, is speaking to the outdoor community the through part the through part is taking what we know about the outdoor community all this stuff and then speaking it to people who probably have never ever heard an elk bugle and uh and then trying to relate that with video with this podcast with our instagram accounts all that social media is a big thing (laughs) Yeah, social media is a huge thing. So, um, a little bit about me. I'll start off. We're gonna tell each other. We're gonna tell the whole world because the whole world, I guarantee, is listening to this podcast. Oh right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got thousands and thousands. Oh, oh, yeah. just, just rolling in. Um, honestly, we're we're we don't care if we help one person. Yeah. If if there's one person that listens to this podcast that it really helps them, that's all we're really after. We we really don't need to reach the world that's not what we're here for we're here to help people and now if that's more people and that's what the lord sees fit we're good for that but uh we're just trying to 
put out a message. I think we're both been pushed to do that. So that's what we're after. Yeah, even if our audience is is minimal, if even what what we're trying to accomplish, if you don't do it to its full potential, even if you only have say a thousand followers or thousand subscribers two. or two thousand, you know, no, I'm talking two followers or, or two followers, right? You still have an audience, so you you need to put out stuff that 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 is true, and um, and uh, that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put everything out there. And there's not going to be any doohickey on uh, what we're doing. No doohickeys? No doohickey. <laughs> Life outdoors. The <laughs> land of no doohickeys. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's basically what we looked at when we started this thing. There's some big influences in our lives. Um, you know, I've been watching the Born and Raised guys forever. You know, and, and I sit there and I see brotherhood and I see all of these beautiful things that life entails. True life. Mm-hmm. I'm talking lived out true life and uh i just think that we need to uh speak to that um you know the boys over there at born and raised they speak to it through a lot of video and things like that and um i hope they get their podcast going yeah they're they're keeping hey. that a secret for a reason i think well no they're saying there's well, a podcast they're, but they ha- they're not producing yeah. their podcast for i think yeah. that i don't know why they're making me mad or not yeah. mad i'm not gonna say mad but yeah Man, I just want to listen to the podcast already. Yeah. Um, so, Trent, Cody, if you listen to this. Um, I'm running out of podcasts at Trevor, work. <laughs> uh, yeah, Steve. Yeah, we need some podcasts. Um, I mean, we Jones for it. So, anyhow, get them out there. I, You know, I, I have that search button on my phone. Mm-hmm. And I search because I like listening to them. You know, yeah. Um, because they do, they speak life yeah, into yeah. the world. They're speaking life oh, into yeah. the world, and they're using elk to do it, and it's a vehicle that they're using. So, you know, I've I've, I've caught on to that vision. I just they just released. Did you see the video that they just released? It's, what was it called? It's called a. Uh, oh, their old video. Yeah, it um, came out of the fil- full draw film yeah. tour. No, that so no 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 no. Uh, so this video, they didn't know they had this this video. So no one has ever seen this no, video. No, this one's been seen. It was at the film tour. Yeah. No, and, it's just, I don't think so. Yeah. Was it? Was. it? Mm-hmm. Number number five or six. I can't remember hmm. which one. But um, they didn't release it on their YouTube channel. Oh, okay. So they they didn't release it on the YouTube channel. And uh, so, so when they released it on the YouTube channel, you guys need to go over and check it out because it really it really does get. Oh, yeah. Get what what yeah. this is about, what uh, being in the outdoors is about, and the brotherhood, and all those things. It's and, not just about killing elk. Er, yeah, yeah, and no spoilers. We won't give you any spoilers. <laughs> so, um, yeah, head over there and check that out. So that's kind of what the life outdoors is about, and and uh, we do it through fly fishing as well. Um, Gage is a very accomplished fly oh, yeah. fisherman. <laughs> I love fishing. I don't. I I honestly can't tell you the last time I touched a. What do you? I can't call it a pole in your house. It's it's called a fishing rod, I guess, in your house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Gage is a very accomplished fly fisherman. Yeah. Now his older brother, who will be on this podcast, he, Aaron, is dude. He that likes guy. to do boring things, I guess. <laughs> I mean, that that guy is a fishing oh, fiend. Yeah. So, um, yeah, he's a part of the life outdoors. Um. We have several people within our church. Yeah, the outdoor. We have an outdoors group, and uh, those guys. We're gonna. We got a youth hunt planned with mm-hmm. a bunch of kids from that. And we, that's we, gonna be part of that life outdoors. I'm gonna put that. We on. need. We need to do another uh, bow shoot. We did a bow shoot yeah. last year. We hosted the hunting film tour yep. last year. Um, yeah, so we do a lot of that kind of stuff, and that all kind of ties together. It all ties together. Yeah. Um, so. Um, that's Trail Outdoors Fellowship or Trail um, Christian Fellowship, and it's trail.org if and, you guys want to check it and out. And there's a Facebook account, too, right? For oh, the, yeah, there is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I haven't checked it for a while, <laughs> but yeah. Um, so those are all things that we do, too. So anyhow, I, I just wanted to bring some of that up. So now that we, we got it kind of – I think we hashed out what the life outdoors is. Now – let's talk about how we're going to do that um we already have on our on the youtube channel it used to be southern oregon outdoors and we changed it to the life but we already have a bunch of good stuff oh yeah there's uh it shows life it really does oh yeah (laughs) 
shows how to live. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and how and and you know the what we we've been given as far as how how to live. You know the things that have been given to us. Um, if you like duck hunting, there's a there's a addicted to waterfowl segment. So each I, I don't know how you got if you guys know how YouTube works or not, but so there's a channel and that's the life outdoors and then underneath that are sub channels and so we have bear bow hunter being you know that i'm a bear bow hunter and then we have um addicted to waterfowl and then we have like trout spay and then we have so there's all sorts of stuff on you, there you don't need to watch the trout spay i mean if you like watching boring fishing videos yeah yeah whatever uh it's just that you can't cast a spay rod <laughs> Um, but so anyhow, go over there. Um, you can check that stuff out. And then there's also backcountry philosophy segment and that segment I'm, I'm going to probably present, I don't know, Gage might too. Um, but we, we will do uh, philosophy. So we'll talk about why we know what we know and why we do what we do. And then we will also, um, do a Bible study there as well. I'm going to try to do every Sunday. Now, those of you who don't want to listen to a Bible study or something like that, you just don't have to click it. That's all there is to oh, it. Yeah. But it'll be there, and it's usually, if you know me, I, it's it's just the way I am to be outdoors. So outdoors just are always into everything that I talk about. So it is what it is. Um, but more than it, everybody's welcome. Oh, yeah. So, okay. With that said, so we have, okay, we have this podcast that's going to be coming out. Yeah. We have the YouTube channel. Yes. We have several buddies here in town that I'm going to have over here. Yes. Um, Travis Yawn. Travis Yawn. Uh, Sage Davis. Sage. Um, we're going to have Mountain Minded. Yep. Um, Luke. Luke. Yep. Luke will be over here. And and they're all people that get the life. Yes. They, they understand the life. Yeah. A lot of people say it. Like-minded people. L- oh, yeah. Like-minded people. Uh, maybe we could even con... You know, Cody and Trent and those guys come down. Yeah, or we could go up there and see. Them. I think we're. I think we're gonna have to wait. Oh, it'll be. It'll be November. <laughs> uh, oh, maybe even more than November. Yeah. Probably after they're nah, done. We'll just we'll just we'll just keep showing them duck <laughs> pictures on Instagram. <laughs> Cody's got a new boat. He's got to try out. Yeah. You know? So, um, but uh, we'll get those guys on, and then we're gonna bring on other people. Um, we're gonna bring on. Like uh, Jamie Kimmel from the Rafter K, and talk a little bit of uh, a little bit of stewardship, land stewardship, yep. um, some habitat. You know, we should also bring one of his or both daughters on. Both daughters would be great. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if they would talk. Oh, we could get them to talk. I'll just make them. <laughs> but um, they both shot bigger deer than I have. Oh yeah, bigger blacktails than I have. Yeah, and so that that would bring something to the conversation. Mm-hmm. Um, and then. Um, I think your mom's going to come on here and talk a little bit about keto and hunting. So yeah, so keto diet and uh, hunting, which works really good. a keto diet works really good for hunters. Oh, meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like meat. So, um, so we'll do a little bit of that, and then a bunch of other things to go along with that. You guys, we got several shows set up for you guys. It's going to be pretty cool. We'll talk gear. Yeah, we'll have a uh, Brandon on for gear. Yeah, yeah Brandon. Yeah, yeah, Brandon would be pretty good. Yeah, he, yeah, because he likes gear. He's a gearhead. He is a yeah. gearhead. Yeah, I didn't even. Matter of fact, I'll tell you a story about Brandon. Brandon, this is Brandon Crow for everyone. Yeah, if if you guys don't know him, go over check. He's not going to like this at all. <laughs> <laughs> what is his handle on Instagram? I think it's just Brandon Crow. No, no, it's not. It's like hunt. Oh, oh, hunt yeah, twenty four seven. Yeah, here, let me let me see. Um, let me see if I can find him on on instagram for you guys because you need to go over there and, and like his stuff um i don't know if he's got anything on it actually but um anyhow but he, he's a he's a big he's a big long uh he does a lot of long shooting with the rifle yeah um, long range long range yep. and then he he shoots a, a bow too um he's he's a four eight what what do you even call that a coach yeah, yeah, it's so he, a coach. So he's a archery 4H coach too for all the all the high school kids that shoot archery. Yeah, yeah, and and very technical when it comes to archery stuff. Yes, that guy could shoot. Yes, that guy could shoot, and um, he he's uh, what would I say? Very particular about his gear setup, um, and, and he likes to do that. That's the kind of stuff that he likes to do. So. He would be fun to have on for like reloading segments and the yeah. stuff that I just yeah. played. I mean, I've reloaded bullets and had 
deer hair get into yeah. him. I, you know, yeah. so I mean, yeah, he looks at some of my sit-ups and looks at me kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. He even looks at my Jeep and looks at me funny. But uh, anyhow, he would be great to have on here talking uh, guns. And yeah. Then, and then we could even we could even get Jamie on here and talk some AR ARs, stuff. Yeah. You know, he's with Apex yep. Machine and and designed the Gator Gator Grip. Yep. Um, four guard for ARs and those kind of things. So um, maybe he'll bring me over a, a six five Cremor. Or, <laughs> given, uh, yeah. Um, anyhow, Brandon is born to hunt twenty four seven dot three six five. Go check him out. Go check him out and hit him up. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, Follow him. Message him. <laughs> bother Brand, him. Brandon's gonna hate us. Um, he's got four pictures. So <laughs> so go over there. <laughs> go over there and make sure that he puts more pictures on his Instagram account. Ask him a bunch of questions. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. So he actually he hates. probably has the question, the answer for he, the question though. He does, and if he doesn't, he's probably looked at it enough oh, yeah. and knows where to go. Yeah. Um, one of the, he hates. He absolutely hates. Um probably social media and stuff. So mm-hmm. <laughs> it's going to be fun. No attention on him. Right. Right. So, okay. Enough of that. How about a little about us? A little about uh, you. Let's start with you, Gage. Okay. Who are you? All right. So I am Gage Bailey. I am a son of Nate Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm a, I'm a third year. I'm going into third year as an electrician apprentice. Right. Um, I just recently bought a house. I'm, I'm only 22 years old, so I'm a uh, pretty. Yeah, you jumped in with both feet, right? I'm a youngster. I'm married, also. Um, two kids? No, I have no kids. Well, two well, dogs. The, I have two dogs. Your wife yes. likes to think yeah. they're kids. Yeah, she's like, yeah. What's your wife's name? My wife is Jade Bailey. Oh, um, good. good. She's yeah. she's one inch from being a a midget. <laughs> 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 you didn't just say that. So the whole world's going to hear that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Grow a little bit, I guess. I don't know what else to say. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, honey. If you listen to this, I love you. Uh, but um when did I get my when did I get my hunter safety? That was I was 9, 8. You were 9. 9. So, I they, got my They so, actually had to help read the book to yeah, you. Yeah, cuz I wasn't so I I have some the uh, thing you can actually hear right now. Bleh. I have some dyslexia. Um, but that wasn't the reason. It was because you're too young. Oh, I was I was pretty <laughs> young those, too. I was actually some of those words are hard. I, I was actually the young yeah. And so they they read the test to me, and then um, so I couldn't I couldn't big game hunt for a couple of years. So dad and and Aaron would go out and big game hunt, and I'd go I'd tag along, but I I couldn't hunt yet. You have to be 12 years old in Oregon to big game hunt. And uh, so I duck hunted a lot. We duck hunted uh, probably almost every weekend of duck season. I think it was every weekend. And dad, dad got us into it hardcore. I mean, we we just did it all the time. He bought a little fourteen foot John boat with a what like a five horse motor or something like that. It, it was actually a very powerful nine horse. Yeah, nine horse, yeah. nine horse. And uh, I mean, we just shot ducks all the time. So I I did that for a long time. Um, finally, turned twelve. I can. I can legally uh, hunt big game now. They didn't have mentored youth when I was younger. That that was a couple of years bef- or after I I got out of youth, and so um, I was I twelve when I drew that that uh, cow tag. I think I was. Yeah, I think your first cow tag you were twelve. Yeah, so I I screwed that one up. Um, I screwed a lot of animals up. Um, I got that tag again. It's a just a cow tag rifle tag for youth, and then I screwed that tag up twice. I had multiple opportunities. Um, and then I rifle hunted for deer also, and I didn't get anything. So I'm going, you know what? Rifle's not for me. I <laughs> um, Screw rifle hunting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I was like, you know what? What would be better was I'd shoot a bow. I can, you know, bows shoot way better. You can get so much practice, everything else. That next year I bought a bow. Actually, I worked for, for a bow. Uh, my neighbor had a bunch of work to do and he goes you know what if you if you do all this work i'll i'll, I'll give you a bow so it, it was a browning i don't even remember what what brand it was it, but, it was a browning yeah or a what model or right, whatever right so it was a browning bow it's like 90s bow and uh i shot that for a couple of years and still did not kill anything um 
then I bought, you know, I was like, you know, it's the bow. It's it's the bow's problem. And what did dad keep saying? It's not the bow, it's the shooter. Yeah, it's um, not I didn't, the bow. I didn't take, you know, you're in, you're in high school and, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I wrestled, I played football and everything else. So I wasn't, I hunted, um, but I wasn't very serious about it. And so I bought a new bow. Not really new. I bought it from it. It was a newer bow, looking newer bow. And it actually shot worse than the bow I had. It was a Martin. You remember that thing? Oh, yeah. The Martin yeah. Bangle. And right. so, you know, I was like. It wasn't the bow, bow's problem. Oh, no, it wasn't I, the bow's yeah, problem. I don't know I why. probably never sighted the bow in. But, uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this is what I'm talking about. I yeah, was not serious so. about it. So I, I probably bought this bow like two weeks before season started. That's how I was. And um, I went out and I sat in a tree stand for a couple days. And I then I finally, a little fork and horn came in. And um, I missed him four different times, and he's at twenty yards away, four yeah. different times. Yeah. So that's that was the game changer for me. I, I, I figured out that I was being non-ethical about about hunting, and so I needed I needed to do something. So I, uh, I took it more serious. So now it's a year-round thing for me. Um, that's a background of my hunting. Yeah. Yeah. It's, well, and so you started hunting really young though you hunted way before that um maybe yeah. not oh, yeah. carrying a bow oh, yeah um i used to take gauge he used to ride around on my shoulders when we were turkey hunting and uh we called in quite a few gobblers actually with him around i mm-hmm. uh, didn't get to shoot a lot of them <laughs> three-year-old you know three-year-old with a gobbler coming in there's there's one particular time when i had you um out there and you had remember that little red bow you yeah. had and and so we call him this turkey and you want to tell him the story or do you want me to yeah i i can tell i can still i can tell the story so uh i think you actually did carry me on your shoulders that day too and you carried my bow in there for me right and then we, we actually set up man i was young yeah six, you were you're a little years guy old maybe i don't know you're a little guy but yeah. you were always on my shoulders so i mean and it was getting colder i mean it was early spring it was we're up in the mountains and um so dad calls this gobbler in and, you know, and I'm getting cold. I'm like, dad, I'm getting cold. And he goes, he's coming in. Just, just hold on. He's coming in. So I took that little boat. It was, it was probably about like 50 degrees. Oh yeah. <laughs> Six years old. Though. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Right. Right. And yeah. it's, and we, we got you some pretty good gear, you know, oh, back yeah. in those days. Oh yeah. I was wearing Rocky, you yeah. know, I, I mean, I was wearing good stuff. Right. It's just being six years old. You think you're yeah. always cold. You always, right. you know. Right. And, um. Or. In your brother's case, eighteen years old. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, a lot of people, yeah, I don't want to say that bad gear is a, is a thing. A lot of you, what what you need to do is uh, buy tags, not gear. Yeah, right. Um, but uh, let's go to the story. So um, we're uh, turkey hunting out there, and I'm six years old. And Dad says that turkey's coming, and I said, "There's no way that turkey's coming." And I'm I'm six years old. I don't want this turkey to come in. I want to go home. It's cold outside, and so. Dad's like, he's coming in. Just a couple more minutes, a couple more minutes. I I actually drew that bow back, that little red bow, <laughs> with it, without yeah. any arrow in it. That's right. You didn't have an no, arrow No, you wouldn't it. let me carry area, arrows. And uh, <laughs> so <laughs> I, how long did I have that thing draw back for? Quite a little while. You probably felt like days to you, oh, but yeah. it was probably like 20 seconds. Yeah. And that turkey never came in. No. No, I think he caught the red bow waving around yeah. probably. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So anyhow, that that's Gage. Gage is uh, he'll be a regular. Uh, if you haven't seen the life outdoors and seen some of the things uh, like teaching your dog how to fetch, well, no, not- no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Here, here, here. If you're gonna be a dog trainer, you need to go through the same motions as your dog goes through. So well, you- why is that? So you know what your dog goes through. So you know your dog. So you can relate. So you can relate to your dog. I mean, it's just me and Ryder have such a close connection because of this. <laughs> um, you you need to go fetch a duck every once in a while. <laughs> so if you want to see me fetch a duck, it's on the Life Outdoors on the Instagram page. Um, it's actually pretty you, funny. You actually still owe somebody a duck as I, well. Yeah, I owe somebody a duck, and we're not gonna. We won't say that, know, but yeah. Yeah, he. I, actually, I opened my mouth. And I you do that have. all the time. Yeah. By, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Yeah. I said something that I shouldn't have, and now it's going to bite me in the butt. Right. So. Yeah, I, I I'm going to have to do it. I think come <laughs> November, December, sometime you're probably going to be swimming. You'll see me in my skivvies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I can't wait. Uh, so anyhow, that's Gage. Gage actually has been around a lot of animals. Um, Gage got buck fever pretty well when he oh, was yeah. younger. I, I've seen him get duck fever. I've seen him get canvasback fever. Oh, canvasback fever. That's yeah. That's <laughs> I've seen him get goose oh, yeah. fever. I've seen him get a lot of these feeders uh, fevers. So um, that was probably one of the big things that got him early on. But once you get that kill under your belt, uh, it's a different different story. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And I actually I killed my first deer this year. Yeah. Um, late season for archery. Uh, I sat in a tree stand all day long, and it was probably the coldest day of late season. And not fine. near cold enough, though. No, it wasn't. Those deer haven't been moving the last couple of years. Anyhow, so I'm sorry. So it's like four o'clock, and it's get, it's about to get dark, and I was like, you know what? I'm I'm hunting with a buddy, Josh Browning. And I was like, you know what? Let's let's just call it. Let's call it a day. There's no there's no deer. I'm gonna go duck hunting tomorrow. You know, my deer season's over because I rather duck hunt during that time than deer hunt. I don't know why, but that's that's how I am. That, I love duck hunting. Yep. I love duck hunting. So um, we get out of the tree stand, and <laughs> no kidding, this little fork and horn comes rolling in as we're walking we're just laughing doing our own thing you know we're we're done with hunting so we're we're going back to the trucks well this little fork in here came in and uh didn't even know we were there but his little girlfriend caught us and so he was about 10 yards away from us his little girlfriend caught us and barked at us and uh so i i was like you know what there's another another deer down the drain you know i can't kill another deer and actually, I I uh, did their little eh 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 to to the uh, to the buck and stopped him and shot him about at twenty five yards. He went about nice. He, nice. Went, he went about fifty yards and uh, died. I double lunged him, um, and uh, it was it was a good harvest. I mean, that was in November, and it is now August, and I just did my uh, last hamburger package wow cool so hopefully we'll get some more hamburger oh, here yeah. coming up and we're both getting ready we're gonna hunt together we've got some film from last year that we've that was really good oh yeah um so we're putting a film together and uh so hopefully we'll put some meat together that's the big thing is trying to get that freezer filled back up if we don't do it completely with deer hopefully we'll do it with an elk hopefully uh Chase has got his youth tag. Maybe he'll get us some milk and get some those nice freezers. tender cow. I, oh, man, I'd mm. love to get some some freezers filled. So I'm Nate Bailey. Um, I've been at this game since I was a little guy. I grew up in Chiloquin, Oregon. All you have to do in Chiloquin, Oregon is hunt and fish. So it worked out well. Um, another thing that I have to do is, is um, I am a youth minister at Trail Christian Fellowship. And I'm the outdoor minister at uh, Trail Christian Fellowship. So that is um, my worldview is I am put here as who I am to do that. Whatever I do is I've, it's been given me to do. And so that's living the life. Living the life is to um, just live. And living is reality. So that's that's what I do, and my what I like to do a lot is be in the woods or be on a marsh or be in a river, and uh, I do all of it. So I'm a hunting and fishing guide. Gage guided for me a little bit, um, but, you know, being a, a, a apprentice, you can't, you got to kind of concentrate on that. Oh, yeah. So. Owe it to the company that I work for, too. Good company. Yep. Yep. Um, but uh, so I, I do some of that. Uh, I guide waterfowl in the winter turkeys in the spring i don't guide you spay fish guide yeah i do a lot of spay fishing guide um you know i'll nymph fish yep. steelhead on the rogue and then on the williamson river i grew up on the williamson river was taught by a guy named polly roseboro uh and paul purcell paul purcell was probably the biggest influence of my fly fishing and then um so i, I bring kind of a different aspect to the williamson river um also and i love to duck hunt you know growing up in klamath county you're going to be a duck hunter mm -hmm. um and that's kind of rubbed off on all the boys every one of my boys likes to duck hunt i haven't met a kid yet that likes the outdoors that doesn't like to duck <laughs> hunt um we do that we uh also turkey hunt we like to turkey yep. hunt. that's closest thing you'll get to an elk in the spring so mm -hmm. we do it 
and people get upset when I say that. And man, they they're just funny to watch. <laughs> oh yeah, like a yeah. like a dinosaur. Yeah. And and just getting upset about gobbles and stuff. Yeah. It's it's hilarious. I actually like taking kids out and watching them do it. Right. Um I rather, you know, cuz I don't really like wild turkey meat. So I I rather see a kid shoot it and, you know, get that turkey fever going and everything else. And, right. Right. Yeah, and we we've done that a couple times with the with the outdoors group and uh also with uh <laughs> okay so i'm the i'm the volunteer president of rogue chapter of nwtf uh gage might be taking some of that over i hope and then <laughs> um also i'm on the odfw access and habitat board so i get to um get to look at where the money goes for these access and habitat uh all the money that you get when you you know put purchase tags and things like that um i also i also am a member of uh i started a group called barebow hunters and i'm a big part of barebow hunters i'm also the oregon ambassador for trcp and uh so fighting for keeping those public lands open and um and then, of course, figuring out ways of doing such a thing. So all those things are mini hats. And, of course, the outdoor ministry and, and the youth, the teenagers, the high school group. And uh, so I do all those things. Uh, and it's and it's really good. I really enjoy it. It's living life. It's living life and a real true life. What, what, what else do you do? You, uh, you're you in the service. Oh, that's right. I'm in the air guard. Um <laughs> I, I go over to Kingsley Field and work on F-15s. Uh, I, I, it, it, it's, it's nice to have that on the side. What else yeah. did you do at my age in the service? Oh, I was in the Coast Guard. <laughs> <laughs> He's forgetting things. Uh, yeah. He's getting older. <laughs> yeah, Midlife I was, crisis. I was in the Coast Guard, served in Kodiak, Alaska. A uh, funny story about that is I used to shoot, uh, because when you're in the service up there, I don't know if it's still this way, but back then you could become a, you were part of a um, resident, so you could get your resident license and tags. So when you do that, when you buy an Alaska license, you get your tags. Well, come Christmas time, if I haven't killed, because the, the deer season ends, like, I think the 31st of December. So we'd always go out and, and get away from the road system to fill the, you get five tags. One of them you could shoot in the road system. The other four you could shoot away from the road system. So we were, the guy that I was, um, kind of my mentor up there he he that's how he survived was on deer meat so i go fill his freezer as well and um and then i'd go over and eat at his house so i ate the deer meat but anyhow i was sitting there one time in deer camp and this and i and the season was on and i was looking at doll sheep up on the mountain and i'm going i got a tag for those mind you i'm like 23 24 years old and stupid me did not go up there after him. I'm thinking, oh, I'll just shoot some more deer, you know, whatever. It's hunting's hunting, right? And I look back on that. That was one of the stupidest thing I've done. The stupidest thing I've done. You did but, shoot some uh, caribou up there, too. Yep, though. yep. Shot some caribou. That was more of kind of like a, a range management Over, thing. Yeah, overpopulated. Yeah, so yeah. what happened is is on the Lucian Islands, they, they would plant, the back in World War II, they planted that with wild cows. Well, they weren't wild when they planted them, <laughs> I don't think, but... And then some, they were actually reindeer. And so what we did was uh, we'd go out and they overpopulate those little islands. So we had to keep them. So uh, Alaska Fish and Wildlife would say, hey, can you guys take care of some of that? So we did some of that. Um, yeah, I got to shoot a lot of those. Shot a lot of blacktails. Shot a lot yeah. of deer. Um, but yeah. And nowadays... Um, I'm, I'm a bare bow hunter, so I don't shoot all those fancy things that Gage shoots, you know, the sights. And he just picked up this new. It's not that fancy. He just picked up. He, what do you mean it's not that fancy? <laughs> he just picked up this new stabilizer that had to be the greatest, newest and greatest. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, there's a set of arrows right there you just bought. <laughs> Well, it's a 10-inch stabilizer that's engraved with Born and Raised Outdoors on it. Oh, okay. That's so that's it, what works, right? Yeah. It, well, it, it, it said on the Born and Raised, on their on their website, it's... Uh, Guaranteed? Yeah. 30 Guaranteed per, 30, elk. 30% more chance of killing elk. Well, yeah. shoot. Maybe I better put one on my recurve. <laughs> yeah. I, I could use all the 30%s. 
So do they have anything else to add to that? So you could get like 90%? Um, You got to buy their calls. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you got to buy their calls, and you got to buy a, t- a T-shirt. I do have their calls. I have a T-shirt, so I'm already at 60%. So you need to put a stabilizer on your on your boat. On a recurve. You have to. Maybe I'll send it back to Wade and see if he could put oh, a, yeah. an insert in there. Yeah, and then see how many people uh, like your, your stabilizer. <laughs> So anyhow, that's that's us. Now you know kind of what we're doing and how we're doing it. Um, we're at 35 minutes here, so I'm going to let Gage get going. I think his wife is probably jerking on the phone over there saying, hey, get your butt home. It's because she's short. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She's going to hate me. She's going to kill you. I know. We're going to get her on here. We're going to have three mics set up <laughs> next time because I, I want her to be here. <laughs> she's actually... um. This isn't her first year hunting, but she's going to hunt with me this first year. First bow season, First right? bow season. So I bought her a bow a couple years ago, and I want I want her to be, feel confident because that's the biggest thing about bow hunting. If you're not confident in your bow, right, then you're not going to kill anything. And you're shooting. And you're shooting. So um, we worked her up to 50 pounds. She's, she's shooting 50 <laughs> pounds now. You want to tell that story? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell that story. Jade's going to kill both of us on this one now. <laughs> so we're at the bow range. I, I bought her some sights for her birthday. And um, I'm like, well, let's let's put some more poundage on your bow. and uh, So we so can you, get them sighted in, yeah, right? so we can get them right. sighted in. Because her bow would not sight in. She was shooting so low poundage and such a, such a short draw. I mean, her draw is like 20 inches. So it, I was like, we need to put more poundage on your bow. If you want to shoot 30, you got to put more poundage on your bow. And... Um, so she's like, okay. And so I, I put more poundage on there, and I checked it. I'm like, okay, this is 50 pounds. She could not pull it back. And so I come to Dad. I'm like, she can't pull 50 pounds back. <laughs> and Dad's like, just change it back and let her shoot it for a little bit. Just, yeah, just, just so just set it to 50 yeah. and don't tell her. Yeah, and then, and then set it to 50 and just don't tell her. Sorry, our dogs are barking in the back. Yeah, now. I think well, Jade, not, Jade might have showed up. Yeah, Jade might have. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I put I put her bow to fifty pounds. Did not tell her, right? So we go to the bow range again. She just pulls that thing back like it was nothing. I know. I, I it's was all like, in the head. what in the world? <laughs> and I so I didn't tell her. I didn't I didn't tell her that I changed it. I'm like, well, let's put let's because I'm like, if she can pull that back like nothing, then she can she can pull back more. Well, I told her that I was putting more poundage on it, so it was all in her head again. Right. So what she doesn't know. Is her bow is at fifty five pounds now, <laughs> and she hasn't pulled it back yet. But she'll, I guarantee, she'll pull it back. Yeah. So just don't let her know. So, so next year she'll be shooting. She'll she'll be shooting elk with. Yeah, us. yeah. You know she could shoot them at fifty. Yeah, yeah. But her her draw is pretty short, and her arrows are pretty light. Yes. So uh, I mean, once I, we figure that out, she's got a crazy foc though. Really? Well, it, short arrow with. Yeah. The shorter the arrow, the better your foc is going right. to be. Right. So. You put any any weight up front, yeah. With that short arrow, yeah. I, I can't remember what, how. I think they're only like twenty two inches. Yeah, they're short. Inches. Yeah, they're little. I yeah, mean, they, you can hang them off your rear view mirror. <laughs> they look like they look like crossbow crossbow arrows. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we'll put, we're gonna have to figure that out to get you know because she's got to have the right trajectory too. Yeah. So we got we got to figure that out and and. Uh, yeah, we we try to kill the animals where they're not suffering. Right. Right. So. I mean, a light arrow not going very fast. Yeah, it is, could be a problem if it gets problem. in a problem. So we're we're making it not a problem. Yeah. We're we're making a a light arrow go very fast with FOC. Um, so it, so it penetrates better. Well, yeah, the, the, she's got to be able to shoot thirty yards. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. so one of the things we'll do is as we go along here, we'll figure out how to get more weight into that arrow, and then. Um, that's why she's not shooting at elk right now. Yeah. So it'll do it on a deer just fine. 20 and, yeah, yards on a deer is going to be gets a, perfect. And she gets a deer under her belt. She'll yep. be even more confident and everything else, too. Yep. Maybe we could talk your mom into going out. Oh, yeah. You oh, I, I guarantee if Jade kills a deer, yeah, I know. mom will be out there next year. Yep. More tags. More, more tags. tags. More you know, meat. The thing is, she puts in for a bighorn tag, she'll get it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's how it works, right? So that, that girl should buy a lottery ticket all the time. <laughs> Yeah, so anyhow, that's uh, pretty much what the Life Outdoors is about. Hope you guys follow along. I hope you're going to enjoy what we're doing here. It's It will be um, totally edifying. It will be totally um, entertaining. And hopefully it will motivate. So that's what we're after. We're, we're after edifying, entertaining, 
and motivating. So, um, should, got anything else? Should we set up a question column on the podcast? Yeah, please, please give us some questions. Yeah, exactly. Um, and they could be anything. So we'll set up a questions, uh, spirituality or, or Bible questions. Yeah. And then you could do that. You could also ask us gear questions. I do have a little bit of experience with some, you know, um, duck hunting tricks and things like that. And some rigging. So, yeah. Some calling, some elk hunting, um, some bare bow stuff. We're, we're, we're here to help wherever we can. Yeah. So. Any question? Yeah, any question. Gage knows how to buy rigs. You could ask him how yeah, to buy rigs. I'm 22 years old. I counted it the other day, 15. 15 at 22. 22. He's had 15 rigs at 22 yeah. years old. And the truck I have now, I've had for two years, so I'm doing I'm doing good. You're doing good. Yeah. And you just put new tires on it, just so you got to keep it long now I for to longer. Keep it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so anyhow, um, we, we're, we're, uh, that's what we're bringing to you guys. I hope you like it. It's going to be pretty fun. I, I you, yeah, we have a lot of things going on, so it's going to be pretty cool. All right, what do you what do you think, Gage? I think that's. Uh, do, should we make a giveaway? Uh, well, let's get let's get the hats in hand first, and then we'll go. Well, from we there. can give away a bear bow hunter hat. Well, I don't have any. I got thousands of them. <laughs> you got thousands? Well, I I probably have about ten of them. Are you serious? Yeah, we can give a bear bow hunter hat yeah. away. Okay, so I guess okay. How's this going then? So, okay, so if you comment a question or on, or leave us a five star, leave us a five star on iTunes, on iTunes. Yeah. You'll be put in entered. The, you'll you'll be put in the in for the raffle. And we'll let Jade pull it. And we'll let Jade pull it and get her in the podcast and she'll say the name on the podcast. Oh, yeah. 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 And and so you could even leave questions for Jade yeah. about Gage. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, I'm iffy about that one. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's going to be a... <laughs> uh, so anyhow, um, thanks for listening, guys. Follow us on iTunes, Stitcher, all the places that you follow your podcast. Also, um, if you would, go over and check out our YouTube channel. The YouTube channel's got a lot of cool stuff on it. If you're new to Bear Bows, it'll help you get set up for that. It's already helped a ton of people. I get... Phone calls oh, yeah. all the time. Even if you're new to, we have a bunch of stuff of on duck hunting. Oh too. yeah, duck hunting too. Um, uh, fly fishing. Yep. Gage will teach you how to fly fish. Oh yeah, there is actually there is probably videos of be fly fishing on there. There might be videos might, of you I might, fly fishing. I might be yeah. throwing the rod around, but. <laughs> flailing, <laughs> <laughs> waving the magic wand, hoping a fish comes up. <laughs> um, but. Go over there and and subscribe, you guys. You don't know how much that helps us um, in in trying to get the word out. The more you guys subscribe, the more people see this and more people hear this. Yeah. And the more you like it, the more people hear it. So you could do your part on transferring the life outdoors. So, all right, Gage. Well, thanks for coming on. Oh, yeah. You and your r orange electrician shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it'll be camouflage here pretty quick buddy oh yeah oh I'm ready what is it 10 days what's 10 days yeah 10 days 10 days yeah born and raised guys i i, I was talking to a little bit to trevor or to trent today and uh he was a little <laughs> getting a little, little nervous yeah so <laughs> and i don't have arrows yet ten, yeah they're here 10 days they're here ten. you you do too now okay don't listen to that you have arrow I have, and he's and he's shot. Did you hear it. that? It's, I have. You have arrow. <laughs> so here's the deal: is you have shot. It's not like you're you're oh, just no, like no, I no. don't know what I'm gonna do oh, with no, my no. arrows. No, 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 it's not that. No, I have a whole. It's system all set up. it's all set up. Yeah, uh, he's not being unethical. Here. My my bow sighted right. in. Yeah, it's so. It's, I'm just being antsy. I'm not paid. I'm. I can't. That's why I'm. They're here. They're coming. Yeah, they got sent today. Well, that's why I can't fish. Right. I don't have any patience. Right. So that's why you can't. Well, you deer hunt, but that, that's hard to deer hunt. If, if anyone patience. wants to come to Southern Oregon and blacktail hunt, sitting in a tree stand <laughs> is the hardest it thing is. to do. It is. All right, guys, take it easy. Go over there, subscribe, like us. Um, Instagram. Thanks. Yeah, Instagram. Yep. Okay, and then we will do a drawing. All right, take it easy, guys. All right, keep living. Keep living. Thanks for listening to the Life Outdoors podcast. 
Join the Life Nation by spreading this podcast or by going over to our YouTube channel, giving us a subscribe, or even by following us on Instagram. All these things help spread the life. All right. Thanks, guys, for listening. Keep living.